Today I'm going to show you the best way to watermark your photos in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. We got a cool episode for you today. It's all about creating a watermark and these things are they're a little bit on the controversy side some people are all for watermarks saying they protect your images and you make sure other people don't steal them other people are saying you know they get in the way of actually seeing the image and it's totally up to you but a watermark can help protect you now there are some cool ways to create watermarks on your photos we're going to show you guys some ways that don't look as bad and are a little bit less obtrusive but how do you go about actually creating a watermark on your photos. Well, we're gonna show you a really cool way to do it using a custom brush. I'm gonna show you how to make this custom brush and then the best part about this custom brush is you'll be able to use it for every single one of your photos. So you just have to create it once and then you can use it over and over and over and over again. All right, let's get into the episode. It's gonna be really cool. So the image we're using today is a logo by Deep End Imagery and this is Kat and Asa who work at Flurn.com and they're also amazing wedding photographers. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. We've got a white background here and a black logo. Now, this could be something you just sign your name using a Wacom tablet or you could, you know, have your logo designed by a professional or just, you know, print your name out. Whatever it is, this is exactly what you want. A white background with your black logo. Now, let's take a look at our image size. We're going to go to image and then down to image size. And you can see here our size is 900 by 900 which is perfect. You don't want to be scaling these things up too much when you're actually applying them on your photos. It's better to scale something down because it's going to look better in the end. So start off with a maximum width and height somewhere like 500 pixels to 1000 pixels. So make it on the large size and then it's going to work for the majority of your images. All right, so 900 by 900, this is perfect. So we're going to hit cancel and then I'm going to turn this into a custom brush and you're going to be amazed at how easy that actually is. I'm going to go to edit and then down here to define brush preset. There we go. And then we're just going to call it deep and watermark. All right. And we're going to hit OK. And now we're on our brush tool and you can see I've already got the outline of basically our logo. If I switch my color to black here, I can start painting around. Let's bring our flow up to 100 and I'm just painting in our logo. So that's that's really all it is. Now you've got your watermark as a custom brush. All right, I'm gonna show you something really cool. So we're gonna to go to window and then we're gonna go down to brush presets, okay? Then we're gonna click on this little menu here. We're gonna to go to the preset manager. It's a little bit hidden. I, I'm gonna show you where it is, but it's a little hidden. So we're gonna click on this guy right over here or you can just, with your regular brush tool, you can just right click and then you can go over here and go to preset manager. So you wanna find your brush preset manager, okay? And here's your brush preset manager. And what you can do here is you can actually move your brushes around because a lot of time you'll create a brush and just sticks it way at the end and you don't know where it is and you, you, you're never gonna find it again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click here. We're in our preset manager again. We're gonna click on this brush and I'm just gonna bring it to the very front. All right, we're gonna hit done and I'm gonna go over to a regular image. So here's a regular image. And let's just say we're edited on it. We've got some like you know, nice curves, adjustment layers. We're gonna to go to our blue channel and pull up our blues and pull down our yellows a little bit. Give it like a, you know, just a little bit of tone or whatever. There we go, beautiful. They don't know I'm editing their image. All right, and then we're gonna to go to our brush tool and let's just say you were painting with a regular brush or whatever. All right, so now you wanna add your watermark. So all you have to do is go to your brush tool, right click and the very first one, because we just put it there, we just put it as the very first one is going to be your logo and it stays there, which means that you guys can do this every single time you need to put a logo on your image or envelope or whatever, your watermark, it's going to be right here. So just grab your brush tool, right click, and it'll be the very first one because that's where you put it. Okay, now this works just like a regular brush, right? So if I my color is white and I click right over there, well, on a new layer, there we go. I'm just going to click there and then there we go. There's our logo right on white. Now I can make my brush smaller if I want to and there's our logo just smaller. I can make my brush larger and there it is larger. Now it's on a new layer, right? So I can move it around if I need to. I can transform it after the fact. There we go. And then the coolest part about this, I think, is changing the blending mode. Let's say I don't want it to be a normal blending mode. Let's say I want it to be like an overlay blending mode, right? You're obviously not gonna put it right there, but you might put it like here on the bottom left. 
and that looks kind of cool. It's like, okay, it's there, but it's not super, like it, it doesn't get in the way of everything. So it's a really great way. Now you can create another layer and I'm just gonna show you, like it just basically is gonna call on whatever color you decide. So if I take a red color and I put that in there, let's say we had a lot of red in our image. But the way I would suggest it, if you are gonna be doing a color that's not black or white, is try grabbing a color that's actually in your image. In this case, I'm gonna, let's try just grab a nice light green and then put that down there. All right, and that actually looks kind of cool. Maybe a little bit smaller, so we'll just make our brush a little bit smaller. Grab this green, there we go. And then we've got this deep end Im imagery, imagery <laughs> logo, and it's in it's the same color that's in one of our images, which is so, so cool. Let's go to another image of theirs, and we'll just basically just do the same idea. So again, we've got a new layer, brush tool, right click, you've got your logo, and you can grab the color that's in his, in his jacket or his shirt right there and just pop that right down there and it's going to fit every single time. Or this color here and you just put that right in there. I'm just having fun with this. But you get the idea. Let's grab this green color and you can put it right up in there. Just as long as it's not super intrusive, I think that's generally the way to do it. All right, let's try this. Let's grab a green color. Let's put it up there and then change the blending mode to something like from normal down to overlay. Well, you can't see that at all. <laughs> all right, something like screen, and you can lower your opacity so you can kind of see through that as well. So there it is, guys. This is an amazing way to watermark your photos in Photoshop because you just have to create that custom brush once, and it only took like two seconds to do. And then every time you want to put your logo on something, you just grab your brush tool, click on your logo, and pop it on there, and you are good to go. And that's it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning how to watermark your photos in Photoshop. If you love what we're doing here at Flurn, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can click on the screen right now and just do it. And make sure to comment down below. If you have an idea of something you want to learn how to do in Photoshop or with photography, just let us know in a comment down below and we'll get to it because that's how we come up with our ideas for these episodes. And share this with all your friends and family and the people that you like and the people that you want to like and you want to be their friend but you don't know how to introduce yourself like if you're a guy and you find there's a cute girl and you know she's into photoshop this is an in very nice <laughs> anyway i'll flirt you later bye everyone hey baby i noticed you had a photoshop tattoo on your arm did you know about flirt oh no i didn't well they're a website and they teach photoshop oh my god you're so knowledgeable and handsome yeah I try to imagine a story, but it's not working. <laughs>